you know, technology is also working to tackle the lifeguard shortage. Whether you're at a public pool or the one in your own backyard, companies are turning to artificial intelligence and they're turning those into your own personal lifeguard. Take a look. Five-year-old Liam loves playing in the backyard pool, but this was a scene of sheer panic when he almost drowned a few years ago. His mother, Ashley Bulo, says it happened so quickly. When Liam was a baby, you know, he slipped under and it was just a split second. We had our back, we were standing two feet away and we didn't know because we weren't facing him. Your heart drops your stomach. You're like, oh my God, what did I do? Is, is he going to be okay? How long was he there? Her husband, Paul, says he jumped in with his clothes on to save him. It's one of those things that terrifies you as a parent because, you know, for me, um, as a physician, you know, my biggest fear having children was drowning. In fact, Florida leads the nation in child drowning deaths, according to the state's Department of Children and Families. That's why this family of doctors isn't taking any chances. They now have an AI lifeguard. This technology called Milo monitors the pool at all hours, both above and below the water. What we did is take I think hundreds of scenarios, different drowning scenarios that uh, were researched in the last 30 years. And we put them into the brain, the AI brain that we have on the device. And this brain is basically like a lifeguard looking for scenarios where he can detect that somebody's in distress or unconscious. When that happens, there's a triple alert system. It sends an alarm to the pool device and to a house unit. It also sends alerts to your cell phone where you can actually see what's happening underwater. So whether you're near the pool or even out of town, you'll know if someone's in the water. The Milo can actually differentiate between, you know, a stationary mobile object and a person playing in the pool. Um, and even in, in cases of what we call silent drowning, where, for example, you know, a young one is on a floaty and maybe slips into the water inadvertently and then gets submerged, not realizing they're asleep and then inhales. And that motionless, um, a uh, person underwater would actually set the Milo off. Drownings are the number one cause of death for children four years old and under, according to the CDC, and most of them are silent drownings. Dr. Bulo says he's seen far too many while working in a pediatric hospital. It's, it's gut-wrenching, it's heartbreaking. You do everything you can, um, and the idea is you want to try and do everything you can before it even gets to that point. That's why this family plans to keep this AI lifeguard on duty all year long. So just having the extra security of the Milo, it's, it's a peace of mind. And that is so important when you consider the numbers. Worldwide, 320,000 people die every year from drownings. That's according to the World Health Organization. And so when it comes to like these AI lifeguards, it's really cool because remember back in the day where we would have those alarms on the door, so anytime yes, you open sure. a door to the pool, you would hear it. Now you don't have to have those on all your doors throughout the house because I remember growing up with the pool in the backyard and every time you open that, you heard the beep. Now it's just something as simple as this, plugged into your wall and it sends an alert to your phone as well. The cool thing is when you're not even home, and remember last week we had that unfortunate right. situation of that child drowning in a neighbor or someone's backyard that he didn't yep. even know, it would have alerted them that someone was in the backyard. Perfect case in points right there. Obviously no substitute. Got to teach your kids to swim, but this yes. is fantastic. Absolutely.